Hey guys, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. Today we're gonna to be trying some new 2022 Disneyland foods, so stay tuned. So our first food adventure has brought us to Tomorrowland and we're gonna start off with the coconut churro. You can find this at the churro cart right across from Astro Blasters. I like how they did the pink like sugar coating. It just looks really cute. Um, and it looks like it comes with a marshmallow fluff. So I'm gonna go backwards here. All right. Oh, that's, ah! oh man. I don't make jerseys. That looks delicious too. Really coconutty, like not like a ton, but like the sugar you can totally taste it. It's really good. I give this a 10 out of 10. Does Raylani approve? Yeah. Let me go ahead and try this coconut churro. I do love how it is pink. That's probably my favorite part of it. You said it's like a marshmallow fluff? Yeah, it's you know how like marshmallow fluff, that's why it's so sticky, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Damn, that's good. Isn't it? This is probably one of my favorite churros. Yeah, it's not like too crazy, like, but it's not overly done with the coconut, but it's like there. So you know how I like it because I gotta do it twice. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the dipping sauce we like. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We're gonna do the toffee churro, and it looks like it has like the same dipping sauce, but this one can be found at the pretzel cart right next to the churro cart. And this is $7.75, I do believe, for this churro. So let's just go ahead. Oh, you know how like they hit a little hard when you just leave them? Yeah. Oh, trying to find what the tape. heck? Look at this. Oh no. No, that it's got stuff in. Oh, I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, that's what I was, I was like, what the heck? I'm. I don't know, Henry. I think that's dough. No, that is. It's it's like okay. a cream. All right. Man, so it's should... got cream with the dip. Okay, they should kind of specify because I would have been like, that's undercooked, but. Wow. You like it? Mm-hmm. That's like crazy good. Really? That's dangerously good, yeah. Man, Disney, what you do to me? Delicious. All right, let me give it a try. I'm just doing the mom duties. All right, Sorry so. for my reaction earlier. It, it looked undercooked, but I didn't see what the ingredients are. Um, it's like a cream cheese filling of some sort. So let me. But it's like I don't know. It's like dangerously it's, good. Okay, yeah. let me try. I'm wait. I'm gonna try it without the dipping sauce first. I want the actual like okay, full experience. Fair. Right? Good, huh? I love the or, uh, I love the <laughs> I love the pretzels. Try it now with the dipping sauce. Okay. I don't want to get dirty. Okay. Right? Which one? Okay, so which one do you like better? Do you like the churro or the pretzel? Pretzel, hands down. I, I know. I, I agree. love pretzels all the way. Like that's my go-to Disney snack. Yeah. No, I think I'm right there with you. I think I would pick. The pretzel. Okay, so definitely. Who's finishing the pretzel and who's getting the churro? Uh, I think it's only <laughs> fair if I'm just kidding. Let's see. Let's get to it. Probably one of my most favorite characters of all time, like in the entire Disney World, has got to be this alien. Now, this thing you can find it is $19, and you can find out the churro cart as well. And this is actually a sipper, so you put the straw in here. And right now, I was trying to open it, but I almost like broke it. I don't think you broke it. It's just. He says you go through the mouth, I but... he said like it slides or something. So you can pick this up. This is a new item here at the Disneyland Resort. So we got her a special little toy. Ooh! How do you like it? Can you figure out how to open it, Raylani? Because I can't. There's got to be... It's a twist. Is it? Oh, I told okay. you! Wow. Men. I was like pulling it. Men. I told you it was a twist. <laughs> right. I was pulling it and I heard like a crack and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stop. So yeah, definitely a twist. Okay, so next up we have the pistachio parfait and this is from Galactic Grill. So I did ask for a Boba Fett parfait because I mean, it looks like Boba Fett, right? They didn't know what I was talking about, but I just asked, you know, what's your new item? And it's actually considered the pistachio parfait. So it looks like it has Boba and then some other little chocolate pieces on the top. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Boba Fett Wednesday. Yep. I have to take another bite. I'm trying to you know, figure out how to describe it. It's a mousse with cake. And it looks like there's jelly. And there's cherry, I think, in it. Well, that's probably the jelly. Oh, like cherry chunks? Yeah. Oh, it's probably in the jelly part, so it's oh. probably a marmalade. 
it's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I'd maybe give it a 7 out of 10. I'm not a huge fan. It is, I mean, it's good, it's different, and I think I, that's why I really like it. It's not my parfait. <laughs> Me. I think I'm gonna take this in like small sections. So I'm gonna start off with like this part here. It's popping pearls, it's not boba. There's yeah, that's a, yeah, that's there's a I, difference. Yeah. I don't like popping pearls. <laughs> I like those chocolate things. I know after I bit into it, I was like, yeah, they're not boba. I don't know, right? Oh, heck no. Next up is going to be the cake and the jelly and mousse stuff. Oh, there's like chocolate pieces, like a cherry, like the cherry yeah, garcia. Like, yeah. I didn't realize that. Um, overall, this treat is just not my cup of tea. I would probably give this like a two. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't like, pers but personally, I don't like popping pearls. Yeah. Not red velvet cake person, like, I like mousse, the mousse is good, but... It's not bad, yeah, the mousse just, is not bad. Just everything together, like the different tech. I'm a texture person, so yeah, I would give it a two. All right, so we just finished up in Tomorrowland. We're gonna head over to Fantasyland now and check out the Red Rose Tavern, but real quick, we're gonna go visit my friend in Adventureland, so let's go see him. All right, guys, so like I said, we met up with my boy Caleb, so What's if you guys up, aren't everyone? subscribed to his channel, check out his channel, I'll put it in the description box below. It's Spider-Man in real life. I mean, you can't get any more better content with the cosplay than this dude right here, the realest of the real. So he should be the one inside of Avengers Campus. Jumping on the walls, I think. If only, that would be fun. But today yeah. we're, we're, we're walking the Mando because we're doing Star Wars today, I love it, you know? I love it. Check out my boy it. Henry's shirt here. Go down, show, oh, yeah. show him this right here. Oh, Skywalker Academy. Fresh, bro. Clean, we out here. <laughs> so yeah, guys, check out his channel. Really awesome dude. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. All right guys, so next is the Strawberry Sweetheart Tea. This is at the Red Rose Tavern located here in Fantasyland. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm not gonna use the paper straw, I'm just gonna drink straight from it. Ooh, this is good. Good? Yeah, this is good. What do you give it? This is going for a 10 out of 10. Wow. Delicious. Another drink. I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna go for the straw because it looks like there's like a puree at the bottom, so. Mix it up, mix it up. Right? I just wish there was a lid though. That reminds me of something like like a candy or something I used to have when I would go to Mexico. Right, and it's not too sweet though, that's like the best part no, about it. No, it's like really good. It's like a good like, like if they just got fresh berries and ice and like mix it up yeah. and then put like a little bit of syrup, but. What would you that, give it? That's a 10 out of 10 drink. It's really refreshing. It's not too hot today, but this on a hot day would be really good. All right guys, so we're inside of Docking Bay 7. Here we have the Dubak spicy chili noodles. This is our first time ever having a meal here, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. They just look really good. This is so good. So what does it taste like? It tastes like a Thai. Oh, okay. Like a Thai inspired meal. Gotcha. Really good. Um, some of the noodles are a little bit clumped up, but the noodles and this round turkey base, really good. Okay. So what would you give it? I give this a 15 out of 10. Wow. Really okay. good. Another bite? Yeah. Before I have to hand her off. Let me go ahead and give these noodles a try. It was like it almost looks like a ground turkey. Of I feel sort, like right? this is something like I've made at home almost. Like I don't know, but yeah. I feel like this is gonna be a big bite. Mm. This was highly recommended by our friend Disney Hypees, and now I see why. <laughs> Those noodles are fantastic. Try the meat. So it's like a ground turkey. Your beard. Okay, so I believe that this um, meat is like a ground turkey. So of course, if you take more than one bite, it's delicious. <laughs> and this meal, and this meal I would rate 15 out of 10 also. Yeah. Fantastic. This might be one that we finish. Yeah, so I'll have you try the coffee first. Okay. We have the cold brew black cap here, and it looks like they have some cocoa pebbles, so let me just go right for it. Whoa. I need to stir that. That's a straight cold brew. Alright, so we stirred it up. Let me give it another try. Better? Mmm. That's a good coffee. I'll give that a 10. Perfect. 
Yep. Let me try it out. Personally, I love cold brew, so I'm excited for this. And I mean, what better than to have cocoa puffs in your drink? So I think it's just calling our name. Smooth. Ooh, the cream's good too. Mm -hmm. I think this will be a regular thing. We'll just start adding cocoa yeah. puffs to our yeah. 20 out of 10, it's fantastic. So overall, Docking Bay 7, I think has a great taste for this year. So I think we're gonna be back, definitely trying these meals again. All right guys, so at the Golden Horseshoe, you have the strawberry ice cream float. Now this thing has strawberry ice cream and has Sprite inside. It sounds super delicious, especially right now. Today is a little bit warm, so this is gonna be nice and refreshing. Let's try it out. Good? We'll mix it up again. <laughs> All right, let's mix it up real quick. Are you tasting more of the Sprite or the ice cream? Hey guys. Yeah. I don't know. He's not selling me on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, sold. Okay, yeah, okay, so. <laughs> so refund? <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like I do taste more of the Sprite, but also you do get that hint of strawberry. Well, let's have Nicole try it and have you try it if yeah. you want. Try and sell us on this. You see what I mean? I'm only getting Sprite. Okay. I don't taste any ice cream in this. Like. You see what I mean? It's like. You can't... I got. I know I got ice cream that time. It's not. Uh, it's not doing anything for me. Like. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, Dizzy. This is not the one. <laughs> okay. What would you rate it then, babe? Like a three. Like, Dang. It just. It just tastes like a creamy Sprite. Like. Yeah. I think I. I would agree with you. Like I still taste the creaminess, but it's like a cream soda to me, honestly. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I would say probably I would give it like a three or four out of ten. So Disney high beast. So you said what on the would you think? It's... I would probably say you could taste like more of the sprite. Uh -huh. And like you get a little bit of like the strawberry taste, but it just tastes like a cream soda. Like cream soda? Yeah. And I, I'm honestly, giving it the so maybe he's mixing yeah. it. I'm yeah, giving the ultimate shake. That's maybe. probably honestly I feel like the paper straws don't help either. Like it's hard to like drink yeah. it, you know? If you need a, a, a little bit like bigger normal straw, I think it'd be a lot like better. Like a boba straw or something. Boba straw or something. Or something. Good. Shoot, you should have one from earlier. I know. <laughs> Alright. What do you think? Actually, mixing it tastes way Oh, different. does it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just try it again. Alright, okay. We'll try it again. It tastes more like strawberry than it's right now. Okay, okay. okay. It's a lot chunkier because it, the problem is when you try to inhale the uh, ice cream, it, it, it clogs. Uh, Exactly. Yeah. So same? Better? I can taste it now. Like, I can taste it, but it's still a three for me. Oh. Like, I don't <laughs> know. All right. All right. It's now you gotta it. try it. All right, let's see. Proves so it's wrong. mixed. It's mixed. Maybe it's the Minnie Mouse thing that's. <laughs> the Minnie Mouse thing. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. All right, let's try this out. Let me give it a little piece. Oh. That's better. It's a, it's a little bit better. I mean, it probably gets up to maybe like five out of ten. a little bit. No, right. What do you yeah. think? What would you say out of ten? Uh, still like that. It, Middle ground. Four point five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's okay. I mean, give it a try though. I mean, it for a hot day. For a hot day. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream is bright. If you love bright, this, this is it. Yeah. If you're a sprite fan. Uh, but other than that, like, yeah, I just yeah. really drinks I would rather try. Right. 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 Yeah. So. Maybe mint julep instead. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have the red velvet funnel cake. Now, this thing looks fantastic. If you ask me, this is, I would say, one of the more, like, delicious treats here at Disneyland. So, I think we should just go ahead and dive right into this thing. It is, it is really cool, though. You got that little hidden Mickey going. Um, it looks like there's some, like, custard, re uh, obviously red velvet, and then strawberry ice cream, kind of like at the Golden Horseshoe. So let's just stop talking and dig in. All right. There you go. First bite. Mmm. Damn. Really? What are you no, tasting? No. What's the taste you're getting out of it? So, right away, you can definitely taste the strawberry ice cream. But also, it's like a custard or cheesecake. Is that what it is? I'm thinking it's cream cheese because it's red velvet. Cream cheese? Yeah, okay, I'm so. It's cream. Let me see. I like Delicious. to go. The queen like of food that. here, she should know. Let's see this. Let's see what she says. Yeah, it's a cream here, cheese. I'll cream I'll cheese. Okay. I like to do mine in like parts so I can oh, taste everything. Oh, really? So yeah. you go. I don't just. Break it down. Break it down? Yeah. Break it down? Okay, I see this. So yeah, it's cream cheese and then red velvet. Which red velvet? Isn't it just chocolate, technically? Mm -hmm. 
Does it taste uh, overcooked or anything? Does it taste burnt? Very right? crunchy, very crunchy. Perfect. Crispy? Yeah, perfect, yeah. yeah. Nice. Maybe the middle would probably be the soggier part because of all the fixing, but uh -huh. overall it's good. And then the top is strawberry ice cream? Can't go wrong. I'm not a huge red velvet fan, but this is actually really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at Disneyland, they're like, to me, these are like one of the, the best. best treats ever. And I feel like they never cook it wrong either. Like We've never got a bad one. You <laughs> can never go wrong. It's really hard to ruin. A funnel uh, cake. A funnel cake. It's and really if you hard. do, then uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you gotta go back to the cooking school. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, let's have you try it. Okay. Awesome. And then I got you up. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, did you try all of it at once? See what you think. Oh, yeah. yeah. All okay. So let's try to do it all together here. So, this, the cream, and the ice cream. Oh, shoot. Okay. There you go. Oh, and last. Oh, you can't forget the one. Oh, yes. It's better that way. Yeah. <laughs> It's good. Way better. Mm -hmm. So if you guys, if you guys had to rate this on a, a scale from one to ten, what would you guys rate this? Definitely a ten. Ten. A ten. Mm -hmm. For sure. Easy. This is a yeah. must. A go to. Yeah. And this is at the Hungry Bear Cafe. Oh, you know what you do? Uh, you do that. You do that whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Go ahead, yeah. Go okay. So I'm gonna try this real quick, and I'll be back. What do you think? There's so many flavors in one, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. It's like I just bit down on a unicorn. Oh. It's amazing. Oh my god. A unicorn or unicorn poop? Both. <laughs> it still has unicorn in it. It's amazing. Right, oh my god. Right. Delicious. What would you rate it then? A 10. Bam. 10. 10 beasts really out of 10 beasts? Yes, it is. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Dude, it's, it's good. The, the cream cheese is all. Oh. It's and it has that perfect texture with that. Yeah. Oh, you guys gotta try it. It's We're so making good. a little bit of a dent in it. I right? know, it's so good though. You guys gotta try this. It's really, really good. Alright, guys, also here at the Hungry Bear, we have the Snickerdoodle Cold Brew, and you guys know I love my coffee. So I'm gonna try the soft top first, and then I'll kind of mix it around. Yeah. I'm assuming that's Snickerdoodle Crumble. Yeah, right? it's Snickerdoodle Crumble. That's really good. Let me mix it a little bit. Mm. Good? Yeah. It has like subtle hits of like chocolate in the back. Oh wow. Um, but then you got like the cinnamon taste from the sticker doodle. Definitely a 10 out of 10 drink. I don't know if I like this more than the one from Boston. Yeah, yeah. I do like this though, because this is right up my alley. So I think maybe this might be it. This really? might be it for me. Yeah. Between this wow. and the one. Yeah, I mean, I like the wow. black half, but like this, like, try it. Okay, you know what I mean? Henry's turn. All right, Henry. Yeah, so. I don't know if it's better than the Batu one. It, it's really smooth. I feel like sometimes with cold brew, right? Yeah, it's like it has really that hard. Acidity, that acidic, acidic, yeah. To it, and this is really more really creamy. smooth. And like, yeah. yeah, you could taste like a chocolate uh, taste to it, but also the Snickerdoodle actually adds a, a little bit of a flair. Mm -hmm. And mixing it up too, I think maybe helps a little bit yeah. too. So you're not just getting direct cold brew. I don't know. I would say. Maybe it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Still okay, good. That's still a good. Yeah, 8 is still, really still good. That's still yeah. good. So. And then, Nicole, would you say what you give I this ten. one? She's a 10. 10? Just a straight 10. Yeah. 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 That's like saying it's better than the one from Galaxy's Edge, though. I don't I know. know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's better, but it's really it's, it's, good. It's up there. It's They're right side there. by side, yeah, right? Side by side. Side by side. side. They're different in their own ways, but still really we'll good. We'll have you be the. Oh. Okay. He's going to be the determining factor. Tiebreaker. Dang, that's actually pretty darn it's good. It's good, right? And it has a, the kick the after, yeah, the last does. kick yeah, after. It, yeah. it has a secret. Actually, that's really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It like catches you at the at the end, the snicker. Oh, I would be a hypocrite. Yeah. Because this one is actually darn uh, good. So what do you think between this Batu? one? This one about two. This this one because I, I do like snicker doodle. Uh -huh. I love it. So I mean, it's like. Oh it's a fair, it's, wow. Okay. It's, it's just by hairline fracture. Yeah. It's a fair yeah. hairline. It's like I like the cinnamon in it. Like, I don't know. It's, yeah, okay, just, it's so just like a little extra. I think I think the flavor, this one is amazing. It has a yes. great taste. Mm -hmm. I think uh, for the one from... The other one's um, just straight to it, right? Yeah, it has that, It has the, uh, what do you call it? The It has that, the, the cold brew taste to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just uh, the topping on it makes it really good. Yeah. I think it's a topping, but this one, the flavor is Because the other one just like, it's like just cream poured I over, right? right. More the Batu one felt more chocolate milky, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, it's, I don't like know. it's like it's like eating cereal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think just like the, the, the cocoa puff on top is... I think that's probably why I like it. I think it. that's the cocoa, cocoa It's like eating cereal, you know, yeah. like cereal and coffee. Yeah. But this one, actually the flavor is amazing on this yeah. one. So the flavor does, it, this is on point too. Okay. Coffee connoisseur, this is my go-to. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll, you know what we should do? We should mix the two together. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to get best of both worlds, right? Yeah, I, That's what we should do. All right, guys. So we had to make a quick 
come back to the hotel because Henry has some class today. So um, this was the last finishing item. It was a real struggle trying to bring it back, but it survived. So from Harbor Galley, we got the lobster mac and cheese bread bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig right in. And it's kind of hard to do with a spoon. I guess a fork would have been better. So mac and cheese first. Wow, that was really good flavor. I'm gonna go in for this really fat piece of meat right here. Hmm. Lobster's really good, pretty tender. So overall, you can never go wrong with the bread bowl. Let me finish this bite, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm gonna close out today's video. We hope that you enjoyed this. Please let us know in the comments down below which of the items that we tried look most delicious to you. And if you're gonna try any, with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications so you can get notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. Bye, guys.